I like to begin with a quote from uh, Fisher Black. Um, as, as you may know, I, I wrote a biography of Fisher Black, and so I read everything he ever wrote, including the unpublished stuff. And in 1970, when he was just a young man, um, he wrote a, a memo um, to himself, basically, because it's not never, never was published, um, envisioning a possible future. This is 1970, a long time ago. He says thus, a long-term corporate bond could actually be sold to three separate persons. One would supply the money for the bond, one would bear the interest rate risk, and one would bear the risk of default. The last two would not have to put up any capital for the bonds, although they might have to post some sort of collateral. Okay? That's the world that came to be. Okay? He's talking about a world like this. He's saying a risk-free security can be constructed out of a risky security plus interest, insurance, or hedge, plus credit hedge, or guarantee, okay? Um, this is an interest rate swap. This is a credit default swap, okay? And we talked about interest rate swaps all, all, already, so today we're just talking about the, about, about, the, about the credit piece. When he says a corporate bond can be broken into three pieces, that's the corporate bond, risky security, okay, and these are the three pieces. The risk-free security, the interest exposure, and the, and the credit default, the credit exposure here. This is, this is a vision of the future that came true.